When she's not playing dolls with her three-year-old daughter, Mackenzie, she's making a snack for five-year-old Madison. Yummy juice? Okay. They're my life. I'm a trooper. I'm a fighter because of my kids. Heather may be one of the strongest fighters you'll ever meet. Her battle began when she was just 12 years old. I was out running with my friends and being a tomboy and running around and dirt biking and I came home and told my mom that my leg hurt and she told me I was fine, which all moms would do. Turns out Heather wasn't okay. She had cancer. I had a biopsy all the way up my leg. I remember thinking, God, I'm going to have to live the rest of my life with this huge scar all the way up my leg. Without an amputation, doctors told her she would only have a 10% chance of living. But she's a fighter, remember? Life is fine. I really bounced back from losing my leg. Life went on. I'd moved to Cincinnati. I'd gotten married. I had a great job. I, have two, I had two little girls. Life was good. Then a heartbreaking discovery. Heather found a lump in her breast. I was stunned. I was mortified. So the things were rolling down the hill faster than I could catch them. But she found strength in her children. She was eventually clear of cancer, but her marriage failed. Then, May 3rd of last year, lost my job. The next day, found a lump. It was back. This time, the cancer was in her lymph nodes and had traveled down her other leg. Heather tried to focus on her health, picked up spinning, but at times believed her life was spinning out of control. Here I've lost my job. I'm now a single mom. What, I know you're not supposed to ask this, but what next? More bad news for Heather. This time, it was her daughter, Mackenzie. She was diagnosed with a life-threatening disease, neurofibromatosis. But what this causes is not benign tumors on nerves, and the nerves, it could be any of them in her body. They also cause pigment spots on the body, or love kisses, as Heather calls them. It's hard. There's not a cure, and there's no treatment. And so I'm watching as a mother. In the meantime, Heather herself was cleared of cancer once again, until this past May. It returned for a fourth time. And it's, it's an awful feeling. It's scary. By this time, Heather had no choice but to take the demon on again. Surrounded by her children, love, and positive sayings, this mother was determined. I make dreams, and I follow them, and I make goals, and I follow them. One of them is to raise money for research. She'll be spinning for a cure this coming weekend. And even when her health insurance runs out later this month, Heather is determined to make sure her little ones learn a lesson from her fight. There's nothing you can't do. Go for it. By the way, Heather just learned she is once again cancer-free. You can join Heather at Spin for a Cure this Saturday, October 10th, at the Cintas Center. For details, go to our website, WLWT.com. By the way, Heather's latest goal, to do the Ironman Triathlon. Karen Johnson, News 5.